Alright guys, how to set the creep on your bobcat in less than 8 minutes. So this is what our baseline is. We got creep on the uh, right and the left. Except for one's in reverse and one's going forward. So to adjust it, you got these cam blocks here. It's literally a square piece of mild steel with two bolts going through it that basically creates end stops for the linkage to travel. Um, with the pressure and the pump, it basically rides up against these blocks. So by adjusting where these blocks are on this for lack of better terms, I-beam or L-beam here, the one that is not gray that's right adjacent to my hand here. By moving where the two bolt holes are on that bracket, it's going to move the cam blocks, or basically what the end stops would be. And by adjusting that, you're going to be able to take any of the play, or maybe you have to load it up a little bit by creating a little bit of pressure against the cam. Um, the cam or the, the two blocks that go on the front up here, this uh, highly polished silver. In our previous video, we pushed in bushings on this guy and installed new cams. So cam, the cams are basically uh, like a little wheel with a bolt that goes into the side of it. Uh, it's just a friction disc, more or less, a uh, consumable that with time will wear a flat spot in the guy. And you'll need to replace that. And then the blocks, it's simple. Uh, the blocks that I'm referencing is what we're adjusting right now. You can just take those out and flip them around. You'll see it once you get them out. They'll be like a little concave area that's been rubbed in uh, just from wear. You can flip them around and then you can have some new life. And there's no point in wasting money on these guys if at the end of the day it's still going to wear out. So you might as well get your money's worth. Uh, that. The blocks that I'm talking about is here uh, on the screen. It was number 21. Uh, there's two of them. And this is the 743 uh, Bravo variant of the Bobcat. A lot of them's probably going to be the same. Um, so once you get the creep kind of where you want it to be, you're going to sit here and tighten it up. And then, uh, you know, just double check your work. Um, by tightening up, you may move it. So as you can see, this one here is still moving, so uh, we got the right side all but stopped. So the front one adjusts the right side, and the back one adjusts the left side, if that makes sense. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. It's just where the pump stages are and uh, where it pumps out to the motors. So in another video that we had done, we rebuilt the drive motor. So uh, once you know that your drive motors are rebuilt and good, then you can move on to this phase. Now you can attempt to do this phase uh, without rebuilding your drive motors. However, you may have pressure bleeding out inside of the actual drive motor itself, causing the creep itself. Um, so you may be just doing a band-aid on something that you ultimately need to fix. And you'll do yourself a great deal of service by rebuilding them. It's super simple. Just check out the video. I'll link it down in the description. Um, dude, it's night and day night and day difference uh, definitely worth it I can't remember how much I spent on it but it was it was stupid ridiculously like cheap to do so I definitely recommend doing that I had grabbed my parts from loader parts source and they had everything in stock and it was real quick shipping and I'm not affiliated with them in any way it was just honestly the cheapest thing that I could find you know I'm pretty cheap so I'm trying to do it myself I don't really have the money to go out and buy uh, factory parts. And honestly, I think that the Teflon backers and the factory parts are of less quality than the ones that I got in the loader parts store, or loader parts source. So without talking your ear off here, so basically as we've adjusted the front one, we're gonna adjust the rear one in the same manner. Uh, you just loosen up the block and I'm using a pry bar just to kind of create, you know, some pressure on that so that I can actually move the block um, on that linkage there. And then once you get it somewhere around where you need it, um, you're going to retighten it up and then double check your work by, you know, obviously glancing over at the wheel. Um, if you have the slightest bit of creep, that's perfectly fine. Um, once you're down, because we have the Bobcat up in the air right now on some jack stands, once you're down on the ground, you're going to be just fine. The Bobcat weighs so much that it's not going to move on you. So once you get that done, that's basically it. You know, just double check your work, make sure everything's good, and uh, it will just move on to wrapping things up. 
Um, I did want to make note of something that I did find, so stay tuned for just a second. I'll follow up with you. All right, guys. I think I know why I, we couldn't get the creep set perfectly, even though the bushings, the cams, and the blocks are essentially new. Um, hydraulic mode uh, drive units are good. Um, I do want to point something out to you real quick. Um, notice we got a little slop here. So the linkage is not moving. You can see down there. So. Out here, these bushings. I don't know if you can notice that, but that's where our slop's coming. So, this bushing's worn out too. It's called a um, bell house or something like that. I'm not sure what it is, but there's slop in there. Oh, there it is. You can really see it there. So, let me get those ordered and I'll slap them in. There's two bolts. Uh, there's one on this other side, except for it's access from inside. See, that's on the inside in there. So, to access that from over here on the inside. But guys, I hope that helped you out a little bit. Um, I know a couple of you guys were asking about how to set the creep and uh, hopefully that helps you out. If you can't get it perfect, um, you're probably gonna be fine once you're sitting on the ground and it has weight on the unit. Um, also check those uh, bushings on the side for the actual bar that runs across that all the linkage attach attaches to. Make sure that's good. And uh, aside from that, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Um, if you hadn't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We're killing it on subscriptions. We're at like 326 or something as of today. So that's awesome. We're up like 100 in a month. So thank you guys. And if you have any other questions or if you want to see something else, leave me a comment below. And uh, y'all have a great weekend. Bye-bye.